Hey everybody, it's Melanie from Growing Little Brains, and today I wanted to show you how to use the screen share function if you're using Zoom as a platform for your teletherapy sessions. So I'm gonna walk you through this here um, if you're in Zoom. If you're in Zoom, you're gonna go down where it says share screen, click on that little green button, and then I'm using Chrome browser, so I want to share my Chrome browser, hit the blue button for share. And then I'm going to type in the website toytheater.com. Um, I really like this website for a lot of the different activities that they have on here. So I'm going to show you a couple that I use. Um, first one I use a lot is under puzzle. This is their parking lot game. And what you'll do to give your student access to this is hover near the top where, it's, where it has that little share button. If you hover over the top, you'll get a whole set of tools. And if you click over on the three dots all the way on the right where it says more, that is where you'll find your students um, a, the ability to able the annotation feature for your student. I don't have anyone here right now because there's nobody in my room. Um, it's just me, but it will be over here and under that more section. And then for other things on the whiteboard, etc., you use this annotate uh, little pencil. So once that's clicked, then you can both play and I'll just show you what this game looks like. So this is a good problem solving, critical thinking. You need to move the cars around to be able to get the um, orange car that's cursored out of there. So let's see if I can do it. I'm gonna move that guy back. It's hard to talk and play at the same time. And he's out. So that is one game that I use. Also under the puzzles, you'll find a visual memory game. It's kind of like uh, that light up game Simon. So it gives them a couple seconds. They have to remember what color and what position they saw it. So you'll pick red. Oops, sorry, you have to drag it up. And then you click next. And then it's gonna give me two and only a couple seconds. So they good for visual memory. Oh, you get the idea. Blue, green, red. Okay, so that is the visual memory game. That's a great one. The other um, activities that I use, you can go under read and under the word bird, you'll find some neat things here. There is a word scramble. And what's nice about this is that it gives pictures because a lot of the students that I work with really have a hard time coming up with words when they're scrambled. Um, they have a hard time just spelling the words. Um, in general, so when they're scrambled, then it's really hard. So it's nice that the pictures are here. They can go through the pictures and say, okay, is that what, are those the letters that are contained in that word? I'm not sure. Um, okay, this is an old school computer. Our students probably won't even know what that looks like. <laughs> computer. So um, there's that. And then you would go to the next one. So we'll see what that is. Um, also under read. This is a great one for younger students who are just starting to learn their letters and you wanna just work on matching. And even before letters, right down here at the bottom, you'll see shapes, colors, numbers, patterns, um, and then they just feed Freddy. So give him a beat and then he'll eat it up. If you give him the wrong letter, he just gives you an unhappy face. Whoa. Okay, so that is under read again. The other nice um, things that I use in this website are all the teacher tools. So if you wanna do things off screen, maybe you wanna play some fun like minute to minute games or you just wanna set a timer to see how long it's taking them to do something or just make it a race, make it fun, there's a stopwatch. So you can use the stopwatch you can also use the spinner to play games or make up your own games. If you hover or towards the top again, 
um, and you go to that annotate function, you can hit T for text. You can make a text box. You can shrink it down, put it in here, and then you could write words. Say you wanted to do like a gross motor brain break type activity. You could put different words in here to tell them the action that you, that you want them to do. Also under teacher tools, you'll find dice. You can also do that for some motivation and some competition. Um, those are the ones that I use most frequently, but there's tons of, as you can see, there's tons of academic type related. There's counters and all sorts of, all sorts of um, charts for math. There's a little bear counters that might be fun for some of our younger kids and shapes, things like that. So there's tons of things on this website. So um, check it out. And I hope that that helped. Send me some comments. Um, and let me know if that was helpful. Let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see me do. Um, now that I figured out how to use this video thing, I can um, put some other websites up here if there's things that other people want to see. So um, again, shoot me an email at melanie at growinglittlebrains.com or you can find me on my website, www.growinglittlebrains.com. So have a great weekend, everyone. Talk to you later. Bye.